If you're a business owner looking to reduce your energy costs, then installing solar panels on your rooftop, on a carport over your parking lot, or ground-mounted solar panels could be a great investment for you. And if that's the case, then you need to take a look at the new REC Alpha Pro M. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're looking at the new REC Alpha Pro M 640 watt solar module. Now I should say, this is a commercial solar module. So this is not something that you would be installing on, on your rooftop of your home. But if you're looking at a small commercial project like business roofs or carports, then this is the type of module you might use. Now, of course, as I mentioned, this module class goes up to 640 watts per panel. Now, REC solar panels and REC cells are built using heterojunction technology. Now, heterojunction technology is a combination of amorphous or thin film silicon as well as crystalline silicon. And the result is a more efficient solar cell. Now, in terms of module efficiency, with the REC Alpha Pro M, they achieve up to 22.5% module efficiency. Now, when we talk about module efficiency, what we're talking about is what percentage of sunlight that hits the surface of that solar panel is successfully captured and converted into usable electricity. Now, when sunlight hits a solar panel, some of that light is just reflected back off, some of it passes through the solar cell, uh, and of course, some energy is lost as heat in the conversion process. So when we talk about module efficiency or cell efficiency, it's what percentage of sunlight that hits the surface of that solar cell or that solar module is successfully captured and converted into usable electricity. Uh, and right now I would say anything over 22% would be considered a high efficiency solar module. Now another advantage of the REC solar cells is the lower degradation rate. Now when we talk about degradation rate, uh, basically as, as solar panels age, they lose a small percentage of their performance or their power output for each year that that solar panel ages. And that's called the degradation rate. So the lower the degradation rate, the more total energy that the module will, will produce over the lifetime of the system. Now a standard solar panel might degrade at about half a percent per year, but the REC premium panels only degrade at about a quarter of a percent per year. And they're guaranteed to have at least 92% of initial rated power out in year 25, which is the terminal year of the warranty. Uh, so again, all that just translates to more total usable energy harvested over the lifetime of the system when compared with a lower cost or a standard solar module. Now, another factor with the REC solar panels is the stronger mechanical support. So the way REC makes their solar panels is they actually have two crossbars, two horizontal crossbars in the back, which gives the solar panel a higher wind load and a snow, and snow load rating. Uh, in fact, we actually had a chance to put one of these REC solar panels to the test at the Renewable Energy Test Center in Fremont, California, where we basically loaded piles and piles and piles of sandbags. You know, we're talking about thousands of pounds of weight on the solar panel to make sure that it met or exceeded the rated load capacity. Uh, in fact, the, the module that we tested, we, we weren't able to get it to totally collapse and totally break, but there was significant deflection as we loaded that solar panel up with those sandbags. So if you haven't seen that previous video, uh, make sure you go back and check out that video from the Renewable Energy Test Center. Now, another major advantage of the REC heterojunction cells is the lower temperature coefficient. Now, solar panels, like a lot of electrical equipment, um, if it has to operate at extreme high temperatures, the, the performance degrades. And so the amount of power output that is lost for each degree that the panel has to operate above the ideal temperature, that is known as the temperature coefficient. Now, when solar panels are tested, they're tested at what we call STC, standard test conditions, which is 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. But for each degree that it has to operate above that ideal temperature, you're gonna have a little bit of power loss. Now, that, that again, that number is called the temperature coefficient, and you want that number to be as small as possible. Uh, right, because the, the amount of loss due to having to operate at extreme temperatures, if we can minimize those losses, it just translates into more total usable energy that is harvested over the lifetime of that system. And that's especially important for those of you that live in areas with, with really hot climates. Think uh, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, Florida. 
If you're gonna have these extreme high temperatures, especially during the middle of the summer months, you want a solar panel that's built to, to, to better stand up to those extreme operating conditions. Uh, again, all this goes into more total usable energy harvested over the lifetime of the system. So although you might look at, you know, what is the nameplate wattage rating on the solar panel, well, not all watts are the same. Not all 640 watt solar panels uh, are gonna operate at 640 watts. But then the other question is, in real world conditions where you're dealing with partial shade conditions, certain times of the year, certain times of the day, uh, also you're gonna be dealing with extreme high temperatures uh, in certain areas, especially on rooftop applications. So you're not gonna be getting that full rated power all the time. Looking for a module that has a nice low temperature coefficient means it's going to hold up better over time in those extreme temperature environments. And then of course, finally with REC, you know, you pretty much always get that ProTrust warranty. Now REC has one of the best warranties in the industry, which guarantees you 25 years of mechanical integrity, of electrical power output, as well as any labor or service. Now what that means is in the unlikely event, let's say the contractor that does your original installation, if there's a solar panel that goes bad, and that contractor is not able to come out and make repairs for whatever reason, then REC will send another technician out at their own expense to replace the defective solar module. And that's something that's offered virtually ex exclusively by REC under their ProTrust warranty. So this has been an introduction to the new REC Alpha Pro M. Uh, again, if you haven't taken a look at our previous video yet where we, we actually loaded up one of these REC solar modules to make sure that it met the rated load capacity, uh, go back and watch that previous video. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner, if you're in the process of looking at different solar panel and battery options for your home, uh, if you need to get a quote for the REC solar panels or, or really any of the other top solar panels, uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below here. Set up a call with a solar surge expert uh, or just use the free online calculator tool to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.